Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me for today's at home Pilates for slim toned thighs workout. In today's routine, we are going to be focusing on strengthening and sculpting our thighs. However, you are also going to be working your hips, your glutes and your calf muscles for a complete lower body burn. Now, I'm not going to be using any equipment for this routine. However, if you do want to step up the level of challenge and intensity, feel free to throw on a set of ankle weights. Also, be sure to stick around to the end of this workout because we're going to be working through some fantastic cool down stretches to increase your lower body flexibility. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and jump right into our workout. We're gonna come down on our stomachs, separating the legs so they're about hip distance apart and pointing the toes. I'm going to bring my forearms so they're parallel with the top of the mat and you can either hover your chest up the floor off the floor like so or you can rest your head on your arms. From here I'm going to begin by lifting and lowering my right leg. So my toes are pointed, my quads are switched on and I'm working into those right glutes as well to get the lift. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Now my left Thigh muscles are also switched on so I've got stability and I'm not rocking from side to side as I lift and lower that right leg. Good, pointing hard through the toes. We've got four, three, two, nice work, and one. Now from here we're gonna move over onto the left side, lifting and lowering that left leg. Only lifting the leg as high as you can without compressing the low back. So if you feel compression in the lower back, try to lengthen through the spine and maybe don't lift quite as high. Focusing on those quads doing the work as you lift and lower that leg, squeezing into the glutes here too. For four, three, two, and one. Amazing work. Now we're going to alternate legs, so lift the right, then the left. Keep those shoulders down away from your ears. <sighs> Breathing through it. Lifting a little bit higher if you can each time. Let's go six, five, four, three. Nice long neck, two, and one. Amazing. Now we're going to come down onto our backs for some bridge work. So I'd like you to lower down, take your arms on either side of your body. We're going to bring the heels so they're below the knees, the legs are hip distance apart. From here, tilt the pelvis back, tucking the tailbone, lift the hips and lower, just hover the bum above the mat and then push back up. Good, lower and lift, lower and lift. Keep those thighs parallel. Try not to let the knees knock in or splay out to the sides. Working the back body here. <sighs> Warming up those thighs. Nice work. Keep the tailbone tucked and the core engaged as you breathe out to lift for three and two and final one. Now from here, we're gonna lift the toes Positioning the heels so they're below the knees, lower and lift those hips. Driving up through the heels, feeling it into the fronts of the thighs, the backs of the thighs, feeling it into those calf muscles here as well. Again, keeping the legs perfectly parallel and the tailbone tucked. Let's go three and two and final one coming up onto the toes now. So the balls of the feet are below the knees. We're gonna lift and lower those hips. Really keeping that tailbone tucked so you're not compressing the lower back. Good, driving up through the balls of the feet for four, three, Two, nice work, and one. Now slowly we're gonna widen the knees and then bring the knees together, squeezing them together. Now widen and squeeze knees together, little hold, and then widen those knees again. <sighs> widen and squeeze knees together. So you're not just tapping the knees together. Imagine there's a magnet pulling those knees 
toward each other. Make it really powerful. Engage the core, keep those hips elevated for four, three, nice work, two, you've got this, and last one, lower it down, amazing. Bring your knees in towards your chest just for a moment, breathing in through the nose, and out through the mouth, lower feet down to the floor, and now we're going to come into a side lying position. So I'd like you to get nice and comfortable on your side, head up on your palm or on your outstretched arm. We're going to glue the legs together, stacking the hips, and then we're gonna pick the legs up and hinge from the hip, coming into a pike. Now we're gonna lift the top leg and lower. Toes are pointed, lift and lower. Lift and lower. So we're not letting that top hip roll back, we're keeping the legs parallel as we lift and lower. There's a little bit of an opening in the hip, but we've got our core engaged, hand down on the mat for support, and we're trying to keep our torso really stable as we lift and lower that top leg. If you're losing control, be sure to maybe not lift the leg quite as high and slow it down a bit. So you can really focus on that stability Last one. Now we're gonna go into a V lift. So we're going to, legs are together, we're gonna to come forward out on a diagonal, back to center, and backward on a diagonal, back to center. So the center is the middle of your V as you draw out forward, back to center, and backwards. So creating that V shape in the air with your big toe. Again, keeping it slow and really controlled so you're not wobbling around. I've got that lower leg really switched on here too. Really important for stability. So even the stabilizing leg is working here. Good work, we've got two. Last one and move your leg to the center and hold it there. From here, we're gonna draw small circles forward for 10. Good, that's seven, six, five, four, three, keep that leg elevated, and one, hold. We're gonna reverse direction of those circles, circling backwards for 10, nine, eight. I know these are tough. Keep that leg elevated, keep the toe pointed. Six, five, four, three, two, and one, lower the leg down. Nice work. Now we're gonna bring the leg up, flex and lower. Lift, flex and lower, good work. Lift the leg, flex and lower. Inhale and exhale, engage the core as you flex and lower. So you're lifting up with a pointed toe and you're driving down through your heel. Inhale up, exhale down. Engaging that core for extra stability and benefit. We've got two and final one. Nicely done. Now point the toes again. This time we're going to draw large circles in the air. We're gonna circle the leg back creating a nice big circle, and then forward. Circling backwards, drawing a circle in the air, and forwards. Backwards, draw that circle, and forwards. Good. Continue at your own pace. Keep it really controlled as you move in one direction and then the other, using your toe like a pencil in the air. For two, last one. Amazing work. Now from here, we're gonna lift both legs together. I'm really pushing down into the mat with my supporting hand, and I'm gonna lift that top leg and lower for nine, eight, seven, keep those legs elevated, 
four, three, two, and one. Good work. Now hold the leg at shoulder height and we're going to lift that lower leg up to tap it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower legs down to the floor. Whew, those were tough. Now we're going to make a bridge to focus on our um, inner thighs, so either you can bring that leg in front of you or behind you, whatever's more comfortable, just so you've got space to move that lower leg up and down. We're going to be focusing on the inner thigh, pointing the toes as we lift and lower that leg. Seven, six, squeeze the inner thigh to get the lift. Four, three, two, and one. Pause it there. We're going to be circling forward for 10, 9, 8. Squeeze that inner thigh. 6, 5, 4, 3. Relax those shoulders. 2, and 1. Now flex the foot and pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, working deep into those inner thighs for three, relax the shoulders, two, and one. Now back to those circles, 10 backwards to finish off here, circling the opposite direction, seven, six, five, keep that leg elevated, three, two, and one. Amazing work on that side. We're now going to switch over and do the other side. Whew shaking a little bit from those okay so coming down onto your side body stretching out nice and long and supporting your head in your hand or on your hand or on your arm come forward into your pike and let's begin with those leg lifts <sighs> abs engaged shoulders relaxed hand down on the mat for support as we lift and lower that top leg <sighs> Toes are pointed, thighs are switched on. <sighs> Mobilizing the hip here. Good, we've got three, two, and one. Now into those V lifts. So we're coming forward on a diagonal and backward. Forward and backward. Good, drawing that large V shape in the air. Again, if you're really rocking around in the torso, you're losing stability, just do a smaller V and slow it right down. Stability and control is really important, so make sure that you're placing an emphasis on that as you work through all of these moves. Good, we've got three, two, and one. Nice work. Now we're coming to the middle and holding it there and we're going to start circling. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it there, reverse. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Abs in, shoulders relaxed. Keep that leg elevated. Three, two, and one, hold it there, flex the foot and lower. Lift and flex to lower. Lift the leg and flex. Good. <sighs> Driving down through that heel as you flex and lower. Inhale up, exhale down. Keep the neck nice and long, the shoulders relaxed, core engaged. <sighs> Lift and lower. We've got three, two, last one. Point the toes again. We're drawing a big circle backward and then a big circle forward. Switching between the directions with every repetition. Slowing it down as much as you need to. Decreasing the size of the circle if you're losing stability. Good work. Using that toe like a pencil in the air. Let's go three, two, 
to keep those toes pointed. And last one. <sighs> Amazing. Now we're gonna lift the legs together, pointing and lengthening, squeezing those thighs, and lifting and lowering the top leg. Seven, six, five, core is working hard here too. Three, two, and one. Hold it there, lift the leg to about shoulder height, and pulse that lower leg up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Okay, making the bridge either in front or behind the body, lifting that lower leg, toes are pointed, lifting and lowering. <sighs> Squeezing that inner thigh to get each lift. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're drawing circles forward. <sighs> Seven, six, five, squeeze that inner thigh, lift, 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 two, and one. Hold it there, flex the foot. <sighs> Lifting through that heel. Five, four, three, two, and one. Point the toe, circle backwards. <sighs> Final move here with the inner thighs, you can do it. Four, three, two, and one, relax it down. Amazing work, bring your legs together. Bring yourself up into a seated position. Whew. Good work so far. Now, we're going to bring the hands behind the body, fingers pointing either toward the toes or hands splayed slightly out to the sides, whatever is more comfortable for you. Now, <clears throat> I really want you to sit up tall to begin with. And then as you come back, I want you to keep that nice flat back position. So we're not rounding in the spine. We're keeping the core engaged here and the spine nice and long, chest open and lifted. From here, I'd like you to take your legs about hip distance apart. We're gonna start with the right leg, lifting the leg and lowering it. Lifting and lowering, lift it up and lower. Good, squeezing those quads to get the lift. Toes are pointed. We've got four, three, lift a bit higher, two, and one. Now the left side, lift, lift, lift. I want you to really squeeze all the muscles in the leg. Calves are contracted here too. for four, three, two, and one. Now back over to this right side. We're gonna come up, out to the side, back and lower. Lift, out to the side, back and lower, like you're drawing a backwards L in the air. <sighs> nice work, lift, over to the side, squeeze that inner thigh to bring the leg back into the midline of the body. Good. For four and three, keep that chest lift, lifted in the back nice and flat. Lost count there, I'm gonna do one more. Nicely done. Okay, over to the left side. I'm gonna move over to make sure I've got space. Lift, over, in, and down. Lift, over, in, and down. So really focus on squeezing those thighs throughout the entire range of movement. Try to get as much lift as you can. And keep breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Let's go five. Four, nice and smooth and controlled. Three, last two, and final one, and back to center. 
Now, for our final push here, we're gonna drop onto our forearms and we're going to do 30 crossovers with the legs. So I'd like you to lift your right leg, lift your lower leg, or your left leg rather, and lift it below the right leg. We're gonna cross the legs over, turn the heels so they're slightly in, and then cross. Little crisscrosses, alternating which leg is on top. <sighs> Abs are engaged. Spine is nice and long. Let's pick up the pace. <sighs> Good work. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 10 more, let's make it really quick for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and hold. Lower your legs down, amazing work. From here, we're gonna lift ourselves up and we're gonna do some really nice deep stretches. So I'd like you to come into position, into a plank position, and then fold your right leg under your body. Coming into pigeon pose. Keeping that back leg nice and straight out behind you. If it feels comfortable for you, we're gonna deepen the stretch and really lengthen out the quads by pulling that left foot back so that you can feel the stretch running into the hip flexor and all the way up and down that left quad. Nice work, breathe through it. For five, four, three, two, and one, lower down. Now we're gonna switch, folding opposite leg under, Taking a moment to just enjoy this version of pigeon pose. <sighs> Cooling down the body with nice, deep, even breaths. <sighs> and then if it feels comfortable, you can pick up that back foot and feel that stretch deep into the thighs, deep into the hip flexor. For five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing. Now I'd like you to bring your right foot in toward your left thigh and flex the foot. And then you can just reach for that foot. <sighs> Pulling the toes back toward the shin. <sighs> Good. Breathing deeply here. <sighs> Try to keep your right hip level with your left. So keep your right bum cheek down on the floor and then you'll feel the stretch into the side body as well. <sighs> For four, three, two, and one. Lift it up. Let's switch sides. Pulling those right toes back toward the shin. Lengthening through the side body. For four, three, two, and one. Moving into our inner thigh stretch to finish off. Bring the soles of your feet together. Splay the knees out to the sides. Draw the knees down toward the mat, hinge from the hips to just fold over the lower body, keeping the shoulders relaxed here. Getting a deep inner thigh stretch. You can take your hands on your knees and apply a little bit of pressure if that feels good, drawing the knees a little bit closer down toward the mat. For five. Four, three, two, and one. Nicely done. You can cross your legs. Lift your shoulders up by your ears. Inhale and exhale. Roll them down and back. Melting away tension. For two. And one. 
Amazing work. I hope you enjoyed that routine. You worked really hard. I hope you felt it in those glutes, thighs, and calves. I know I did. And let me know in the comments if you decided to use ankle weights or not. I can imagine how challenging that would be, but also super effective. So well done for completing this workout, and I look forward to moving again with you next time. See you soon.